guys so welcome back to another vlog before we hop into the vlog i want to thank warby parker so much for sponsoring today's video warby parker offers everything you need for happier eyes eyeglasses sunglasses contact lenses and eye exams and you can shop with them online or in stores prescription lenses sunglasses progressives and blue light lenses are all available with the affordability of Warby Parker's glasses starting at just $95, you can also add a pair and save. You can get 15% off when you purchase two or more pairs of prescription eyeglasses or sunglasses. Taking Warby Parker's online quiz for the home try-on kit was super easy. You just answer a few quick questions online and Warby Parker will suggest some glasses to fit your face and style. They ship for free and it includes a prepaid shipping return label. You just take the quiz to find a pair that is perfect for you. Okay guys, so I just opened up my home try on kit choices for this month and I have a variety of things. I actually got some clear frames I wanted to try on because I've never had clear frames before and I've still been trying to decide if I want to get them. Cause Kendra wears clear frames and I really like them on her but I'm still trying to decide if I like them on me. I mean, they're cute. I like the bigger clear frames cause I got some more that are smaller and I wanted to see how the smaller ones looked. Yeah, these are like more narrow. I think I prefer the bigger clear frames. And then I got another pair of tortoiseshell to try on, but these are a like lighter nude tortoiseshell. They have like a less orange undertone in the tortoiseshell. Ooh, these are cute. I really like these. Yeah, cause these are kind of the glasses I'm wearing right now. The double tortoiseshell ones from Warby Parker. These are actually men's glasses, so. These are the glasses that I'm wearing currently. So if you guys want to try out Warby Parker's free home try-on program, head to warbyparker.com slash glamtwintv. You can order five pair of glasses like I did to try on at home for free for five days. So there's no obligation to buy. It ships free and it comes with a prepaid return shipping label. So try five pair of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash glamtwintv. Okay guys, so... Welcome back to another vlog and it is Thursday. Kelsey and I are getting ready to go get something to eat. Um, I've been up editing all day because I had to get a video over um, this afternoon. It was supposed to go up like early afternoon, but it ended up going up a little late because the power decided to go out today. It was like a power outage in our area. And when I tell you I was so aggravated when I was doing a voiceover and literally just heard everything in the house shut down, including the internet, I was very annoyed. <laughs> So um, it was an eventful morning this morning, but I wanted to share some uh, Sephora goodies with you guys because I got some stuff from Sephora. It is the holiday, so um, I have no self-control around this time of year. And I also wanted to show you guys some candles from Bath and Body Works, but don't get crazy. It's not a lot, not like y'all have seen in the past. It's literally like a very normal amount. Okay, so the first thing I got is this candle from this brand called Volupsa. It's called Baltic Amber. And... I first smelled this when Kelsey and I were getting our massages at Woodhouse Spa for our birthday last month and I was obsessed with the smell because I'm a huge fan of amber smells and this smells like a warm cozy like very like soft it's a soft amber it's not super potent or strong it's like a fresh amber this is really nice it has amber resin sandalwood and vanilla orchid so this is a really nice like home candle for this time of year if you're not into like that pine Christmas winter smell. This is perfect for like your home during this time of year. So I got one of these. I wanted to get the three width one, but I just decided to get this 18 ounce one because I do have one that's a little bit bigger than this. This is just one wick, but I'll just try this one first, see how I like the projection. And I love the packaging, it's really pretty. I love like amber glass things. And then I got some backups of my favorite body scrub. This is the First Aid Beauty KP Eraser. Yep, that's what it's called, Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA. Y'all have seen me talk about this forever. So got two of those. I also got two of my favorite body oil from Biosance. This is their 100% Squalane Oil. This is my favorite one, like body oil. I do have other body oils, but this is like my go-to. But this is like their regular packaging. I like the limited edition one that's slightly bigger than this. So I try to get my hands on that one whenever they have it. But right now they just have these right now. If you guys can see this size, it's still a good size, but I feel like I'm gonna go through this way faster than I did my bigger size. Cause I still have a little bit of that one left, but I just had to get two of these cause I feel like 
I'm gonna go through it pretty fast. I love this body oil. It's not scented, so if you guys are into non-scented things, you need this body oil because it's like non-irritating. So I love that because my skin can get really sensitive to um, certain products. And then I also got four more candles. These are like the same scent though because I really love this Mason Louise Marie brand. These aren't super strong. They're like very lightly scented, but they still have like perfect projection. They're not too like fragrance inducing, if that makes sense. They're like right there in the middle. But this particular scent I wanted to get because it's very relaxing and calming. I think this is gonna be like my new like meditation slash like yoga stretching candle because I like to burn candles when I meditate and like do yoga and stretch and stuff. And this is gonna be perfect. Look how pretty and minimal this packaging is. I love these. Um, but this particular scent is called Number no. 9 Valet de Farney. So that's what that looks like. Hope you guys can see that if you're interested in the scent. It has grapefruit, orange, black pepper, cedar wood, patchouli, geranium, amber, musk, vetiver, and benzoin. So it's like a very warm, earthy, woody smell. It's really nice. It smells like meditation. I don't know why that's the first word that came to my head when I smell this, but it's very calming, which is why I wanted to get four of them because I'd be like in my peace bubble when I be, you know, burning my candles and it's just me and God, you know. Got those. And then I got a lip product. This is from Dior. This is their Attic Glow 015 Cherry Natural Glow Reviving Lip Balm. Um, I do love the glosses. My favorite gloss is Rosewood. I think that's what it's called. Um, Rosewood is a really nice, like, peachy mauve mixed with plum. It's all those colors in one. It's like the perfect gloss they have for a darker skin tones. So I love that gloss, but I wanted to try one of their balms because I heard good things about these too. So I wanted to try the cherry one. So this is what the cherry one looks like. I know they're really sheer. So it's just something nice to have to pop in your bag on a no makeup day. So I wanted to try one of those and I love their packaging. It reminds me of something I used to wear when I was like younger. Um, this pink part reminds me of something. I think it was from Smackers or Elf. I don't remember, but this packaging just makes me very nostalgic for some reason. And then last but not least from Sephora, I got two perfumes, like I need any more perfume. You guys know I'm a collector and I have an obsession with perfume. But these two scents I've heard great things about and I think they would be nice additions to my collection. So this first one is pretty popular. This is what the box looks like. This is Lantardi from Givenchy. It rhymed. But uh, for the longest time, I did not know how to pronounce this name. Um, but I have the intense version of this. It's in a black bottle. But I heard so many good things about the original that I decided to get it. I did read the notes of the Rouge one, which is in like the red packaging. And I heard like mixed reviews on it. And a lot of people are obsessed with that one. But for some reason, I just... Something about the notes t tells me that I'm not, not gonna like it as much as the Intense. I feel like if I have the black one, I don't need the red one, you know? But I felt like I needed the first one. This is the first one of the Lantardi Flankers. And this is very like fruity floral. This is for sure a fruity floral, but it has like a hint of freshness. It's really nice. But the dry down is very sweet. And I've also heard that this kind of smells like grapes like grape soda E, and I completely understand why people say that. Some people compare it to like grape candy, but it has more of a fizziness to me. It smells like grape soda, but in the best way, with like florals. It sounds so random, but I wanted to try this because I feel like this is more like delicate. The black one that I have is very much like more polarizing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually wearing it today. And I feel like this is like in the same family. This is definitely a part of the same like collection, but this is lighter and it's more fruity. The Intense one has a more like darker vibe. The Black Bottle, it has like a leather note. I know it has some vanilla in there. I think this has vanilla too, but I know for sure the black one has vanilla, but this is good. We'll see how the wear is, but so far I really like this. You may see it in a future favorites. So if you guys are curious about this, this is Kendra approved if you guys are curious about this one. This is like a good every day, like where to work, we're on a date. You can. This is like for all occasions. Anywhere you're going, this is appropriate. Then I got this Lancome perfume. I first smelled this years ago in Ulta and I never bought it because I remember I sampled it like on my wrist and I will never forget 
the, the regret I had for not buying this. And when I saw they had this on Sephora, for some reason I thought this perfume was discontinued and I saw that this was on there. And I'm like, wait, is it back? Did it never leave? Like, I'm confused. But this is Trezor Midnight Rose from Lancome. And I used to want this perfume back in the day, like I said, but I thought it was discontinued these past few years, so I just forgot about it. And let me tell y'all, I love this perfume just as much as I remember smelling it then. And this perfume has been around for years, but I feel like this is a smell that's very timeless. Like this still smells good today, even though it came out years and years ago, like this, um, this version of it. Cause I know there's another version of this, but the Midnight Rose one is the one I really wanted. This has raspberry, it has rose. I forgot the other notes, I don't have my phone. But it's really, really nice. Um, you guys can look up the rest of the notes if you're curious, but it's a fresh rose. That's the best way I can describe it. It's, it's like a rose with like, it's like a watered rose, like a rose that just got rained on or, some, or something. It definitely gives me the same vibes as when the rain stops from Replica, but this is sweeter. It is sweeter but it's a very, very sexy. It's a sexy rose. Um, I'm a big fan of rose. A lot of people don't like rose because rose can go mature. It just depends on what kind of rose it is um, and how it's blended with other notes. So all the rose perfumes that I have are on the sweeter side. This is like the freshest rose that I probably have, I think. I really like this. So this is what it looks like again. This is Trezor Midnight Rose, if you guys want a new rose perfume. Y'all know purple is my favorite color. Love this packaging, so, so pretty. Like the ombre, like plum, so pretty. So these two are gonna be like my go-to fragrances going into the new year for daytime. Not that I need more perfume, like I said, but again, I'm a collector, I enjoy fragrances. Okay, so next for Bath & Body Works, I did get some candles. And I bought these like right after Thanksgiving or before, when they were having the candle day. Y'all know candle day, um, is when they have like, I think when the candles are like relatively cheaper than they normally are. I forgot the exact amount, but I got two candles, but I got like maybe three of the, the same one. Okay, so I got three of each of these. So this first one is Vanilla Birch. Y'all know this is my favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. This is just the winter packaging. I just feel empty without this candle. Every time I don't have it, I feel like I'm missing out. So Vanilla Birch is very fresh vanilla um it's not too intense of a vanilla i do like vanilla bean which we have in here right now in the living room that we burn um this month but vanilla bean smells more holiday vanilla because it's richer but vanilla birch is more every day if you guys are looking for a lighter vanilla scent it's more appropriate to me for every day it's not like too intense so the notes for this are white birch, madagascar vanilla warm sound of wood and of course essential oils it's just a fresh Vanilla is very special. It's something really special about vanilla, vanilla birch. So it's like my go-to home smell. And a newer candle that I wanted to try, I did get three of them. And this is called Smoked Vanilla Whiskey. And I really wanted to try this because I love smoky candle scents. Um, but I had a feeling it might smell like Fireside just mixed with like a boozy note, which is exactly what it smells like. It's Marshmallow Fireside with like a hint of liquor, dark liquor. This has dark oak bourbon reserve smoked vanilla. This is very appropriate for right now. Like the cold months, very, very good. So those are the only two candles I got. Like I said, I just got three of each. And then this is so random. I wanted to try this body cream from Bath & Body Works. I never buy like um, their body creams or anything. Cause like I said, I can't wear like cream, like fragrance stuff on my skin. But every now and then, like when I'm like going out to like dinner or something, I do like to layer like my scents. And a good way to do that is with like body creams. And this coffee and whiskey body cream, I heard mix really well with the Kayali uh, vanilla perfume. And I layer that with a lot of different perfumes. It just mixes well with my body chemistry and it goes really well with other perfumes. And I think I heard Mona, um, she owns Kayali, talking about layering like that first line they came out with, those are meant to layer anyway, because uh, a lot of people don't realize that layering your fragrances helps them last longer. So I wanted to try this vanilla and whiskey, not vanilla and whiskey, coffee and whiskey body cream. Um, if I'm gonna wear a cream from Bath & Body Works, it's definitely their body creams. My hands are ashy anyway right now because I just washed them. Um, 
I'm going to get the cream. The lotions are a waste of money. I do not recommend. Um, they're way too watery and just they're just not worth it. But the creams I used to always love back in the day. It almost has a masculine feel to it. I smell the coffee definitely. Very coffee. I don't really smell the whiskey note. But for sure coffee. It smells like cream coffee. I get why this will mix well with that vanilla Kaoli perfume. That is all I got. We're gonna go to South City Kitchen. We're both starving. It's been a long day, like I said. Eventful morning. Probably come back, watch some Christmas movies. Uh, we're not watching any shows right now. We just finished, I think a week ago, a little over a week ago, we finished Dead to Me on Netflix. That show is so, so good. If you guys are looking for a new show to binge, that's like a quick watch so good i highly recommend if you like comedy but you also like a little bit of drama a little bit of crime it's like an all-in-one kind of show it's a little bit of everything in it um it has a uh, christina applegate in it so i highly recommend kelsey and i were glued to the couch watching it every evening at the end of the day so i think we're gonna start re-watching dynasty because i know the new episodes just went up maybe like two months ago on netflix because um dynasty is like one of my favorite shows to binge like repeatedly so i'm gonna probably watch that and kelsey hasn't seen some of the episodes that i've already seen so she's gonna be catching up while i'm also catching up because i haven't seen like season six at all i think i stopped at season five but kelsey stopped at like season three i think or four she liked two seasons behind me so dynasty is probably the show that we're gonna be watching so yeah i'm gonna put all my stuff away and see you guys later Hi guys, so it's Saturday and Kendra, my mom and Kylie and myself are going to, sorry y'all, my head is so itchy. I need to wash my hair. I'm going to be washing it on tomorrow. We're about to get ready to go to the Atlanta Botanical Garden. We're going to see the garden lights. Kendra and I haven't gone since I think 2019. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the exact same as it was last time, but it was so beautiful and I'm so excited to go. My mom and Kylie will get to experience the lights in person. I think I bought tickets the beginning of December because you do have to get tickets kind of early because they sell out kind of fast. I'm just about to put my hair into braids because I'm gonna wear a beanie. Um, so yes, yeah, I don't feel like being bothered with my hair because it's very dirty and yeah, I don't feel like wearing it down. And I told my mom what time we were supposed to be leaving because I bought our tickets for 7.45. So she's still sleeping. She was taking a nap earlier and she's been asleep for a couple hours. And when my mom naps, she naps. Like you literally have to like shake her to wake her up. I'm leaving at seven. So I hope she's ready. So this is what I'm wearing. Sorry the lighting's kind of warm over here. These lamps in my room are very warm, but this is where my mirror is. So this beanie is from a brand called Knots and Kisses. It's so cute. I have no clue where this turtleneck is from. I've worn it so many times and I, I forgot where it's from. I've had it for so long. Um, and then I'm just wearing my Champion sweatpants. These are so old. They actually used to fit a lot bigger than this, but I wanted to wear them because they're the thickest pair of sweatpants that I have and they're like extremely warm. Um, and by the way, I'm wearing an undershirt as well underneath this because it's like 30 something degrees outside. It's freezing. And then this coat is from ASOS. I've had it for a while. It's like this pretty green color. Um, so yeah, 
I wish I would have went a size up because it fits like perfect. Like it's way too tailored to me. I like my jackets to fit a little more oversized. Still really cute coat. Um, and I like how long it is too. So I just prefer a long coat when it's like freezing. I feel like it keeps me the warmest. I'm not wearing any shoes right now because I don't wear shoes in my room. But I'm probably going to end up wearing my chestnut Uggs. They're downstairs though because that's what I've been wearing a lot lately. I'll show you guys my makeup over here because the lighting's better. It's more cool tone over here. See? Better. Um, so yeah, this is my makeup. I didn't put that much makeup on my forehead because I'm wearing a hat. So I just thought it was pointless to put makeup on my forehead. So I only did like a little bit. Um, so I just did soft makeup. I'm not wearing any eyeshadow. I just did eyeliner, mascara blush bronzer makeup of mario lip pencil and travis and my dior um lip oil in the color mahogany so yeah okay guys so i'm ready to go i am all bundled up because it's freezing out because i couldn't wait to wear this coat um i don't even know if you guys can tell but this is a navy blue coat from zara this coat is super warm it's wool um you guys know zara is one of my favorite places to get coats so i'm wearing it with this a cream and white like beige and white scarf I thought it would keep with this because I was looking at my scarves and none of my scarves are like dark they're all like lighter color because I thought they would contrast well with all my coats so that's why I'm just wearing it with this navy blue turtleneck I'm just wearing these black jeans a black cami with the sweater so a lot of layers you know I'm trying to stay warm and I'm just gonna wear my favorite combat boots that I always where you guys have seen those way too many times y'all need to see the same boots over and over so yeah i am also wearing this perfume this is my perfume of the day or of the evening this is a brand that i just discovered like a uh, maybe a month ago and i've been testing it out and this fragrance called chocolate queen i'm obsessed with Nabatus is a brand that I've been interested in. I do love niche brands, but they are on the pricier side. So I try to spread out when I purchase my niche brand perfumes. So I don't buy niches often, but this one smells amazing. I wasn't quite sure how I would like it because chocolate is not a note that I was interested in until I read the notes to this one. And it's so, so good. So if you guys haven't checked out this brand, I highly recommend because this smells amazing. Smells like winter and it's very unique it's like a warm sweet gourmand but it's not like an obvious gourmand like you've never smelled anything like this i'm pretty sure so it's so so good i don't want to say it's in the same family as black phantom but it's definitely like the same kind of scent where it's uh it could be unisex i feel but it is very sweet it's so so good so that is what i'm wearing today i feel like it fits my outfit Today is Monday. Um, Kendra and I were actually waiting for a video to get approved. So hopefully it gets approved today. Even if it doesn't, we still have another video going up just in case it doesn't. So we have another video ready just in case to go up today. Either way, the video is going up today. But Kendra and I are going to the movies today as well. Um, we haven't been to the movies. Well, actually we went to the movies in Montgomery um, when we were home during Thanksgiving. We had like a family movie night. And we went to go see the second Black Panther. And I still prefer the first one. The second one was good. It was a little slower to me 
than the first one. Um, so I preferred the first one. But today we're going to see Avatar. And I've been waiting like almost, wait, how long has it been since the last one came out? It's been a while. I used to love the first one because I had a Samsung, like one of my, like, I think that was my second phone. I had like a Samsung phone and the movie came on the phone. Let me know if y'all had the same phone. I think it was a Samsung Galaxy. That was the name of the phone I used to have. And the movie came on the phone and I used to watch it at work because I used to work at Hollister. Sometimes in the middle of the day, it was like slow. So I used to watch the movie while I was at work. So I just became obsessed with the first Avatar. So it's taken so long for the second one to come out. And I know with a lot of animation, like it takes a while for them to make a movie. But I mean, this took just as long as The Incredibles 2. 09, it came out in 09. That was the year before we graduated. Way too long. So I'm really excited to be finally going to see the second one. So yeah, let me show you what I'm wearing really quick. So I'm wearing this cropped champion sweatshirts. I got this years ago from, I think I got it from Urban Outfitters. Yeah, this is from Urban Outfitters. And then for my pants, I'm probably showing y'all a better view in my mirror, but for my pants, I'm wearing these Adidas pants. They're very comfortable. At first I was gonna wear some jeans, but I hate wearing jeans to the movies. And this movie is supposed to be three hours long. So I'm not wearing jeans sitting down for three hours. No, that's not happening. I was gonna wear this Commodity Milk. By the way, this is mentioned in the video that's going up today. This smells so good. It's just like very warm. If you want a full description on this perfume, check out the video on the main channel. We're talking about winter fragrances that we've been loving. That's a little too warm. That's more dressed up to me. Yeah, I don't wanna wear that today. I think I'm gonna wear this one. I actually got this one in the mail. This is Ash by Ashley Benson. Um, and this is in the scent, the eighth. Yeah, it's like fruity, clean. Mm, that's nice. Yeah, I like this. I think I'm gonna wear this coat because it's freezing outside. I love this coat. So comfy. Oh, I forgot I put candy in my pocket. <laughs> this is the candy I'm taking with me. Cause I'm not buying no candy. Cause we're going to Santa Bistro, so we're getting actual food, but they never have enough candy options there. Like it. AMC or Regal or something. So, just rather bring my own candy. And I wanna wear this hat. Um, I did my hair last night and I never liked my hair on the very first day because it always has like flyaways at the top and I don't like putting oil in my hair the first few days. I just like to let the natural oils come through. So I think I'm just gonna wear this hat. It's really cute. Yeah, and I'm just gonna wear these J's. So yeah. Yeah, it's the fit. And then I got this cute bag from Oh Holly that I'm gonna pair with it. It's so cute. It's like this pretty emerald green from, wait, not Oh Holly. This is from Princess Polly. So yeah, super comfortable, super casual. Of course, I don't have my shoes on yet. Cause like I said, I don't wear shoes in the house. For Santa be sure you have to arrive like 30 minutes early so you can order your food. So we probably should go ahead and get ready to go. Center should be ready. Um, so yeah, I need to leave these lights on because it's gonna be dark by the time we get back. Because we're seeing a matinee, but like I said, this movie is three hours. So yeah. Hi guys, so it is Tuesday afternoon. I'm on my way to Lexus to go get Kendra. Um, she had to take her car to get serviced, her 30,000 mile service appointment. So they have to do like a bunch of stuff to her car. So depending on how long they take, we might have to come back to get her car tomorrow. So, cause they said it was gonna take like four hours. So yeah, but want to tell you guys how amazing Avatar was last night. The movie, like I told y'all, was three hours long. Um, so it was a really, really good movie. And it was definitely worth the wait. It was beautifully shot. It was beautifully written. Me and Kendra both cried like four times. But it was just, uh, it was just so, so good. So if you've been wanting to see the new Avatar, I highly recommend you guys go see it. Yeah, it's amazing. Avatar, The Way of Water. I think that's the name of it. It's amazing. I love it. I want to go see it again, but I need to emotionally prepare myself again because... Yeah, it was kind of draining. <laughs> and if you're not like that big of an empath, you won't be that emotional when you watch it. But if you are, you will be emotional when you watch it. It's just, uh, it was so good. So I really, really enjoyed it a lot. 
I like how they managed to still keep like the vibe and essence of the first one. Okay guys, so we just got back. Um, I found pretty much everything I needed at Target except a wine bag. I was looking for like a wine bag, like a gift bag that you put wine in, but I couldn't find one. And I thought I had one here at the house that someone gave us from a gift that I was gonna reuse, but I think I already gave that to someone else for a housewarming gift. So now I have to just find another one. But I'm just gonna show you guys some wines we got because we stopped by Total Wine after we left TJ Maxx because we went to TJ Maxx. Um, but yeah, we got a repurchase of one of our faves. This is the SR Tonella Cellars Napa Valley. This is a 2012. This is one of our favorite wines. It's so good if you like caps. We've never tried this one before. This is Wade, the Dwayne Wade wine. I always forget that he has wine and we saw it in the Cabernet section. So I just wanted to try it. And then we got this Stave and Steel Bourbon Barrel Aged. I love Bourbon Barrel Aged caps. They're so good. They're a little bit sweeter, more dense, more full bodied. So I really like Bourbon Barrel Aged caps. We get that one a lot at Target. And they had that one at Publix too. And then the Sterling um, Vineyards. This one is the Heritage Collection one though. Um, so this one is a 2018. This is one of our faves too. And then we went to the dessert wine section because we tried this brand a month ago because for our birthday, we got a bottle of the Chateau Elan American Port. And you usually can only find American Port in the dessert wine section because it's a sweet red wine. So I forgot how sweet it was because we hadn't had it in so long because we mostly only drink regular Cabernets. And every time I drink a sweet wine, I always feel like it is so sweet. <laughs> but... We found these two honey wines from this brand called Chateau Moselle. Well, one is from Chateau Moselle and the other is from a brand called Chateau Cotet, Cotet, something like that. But it has notes of apricot, honey. It's delicious, it's a French wine. It's so freaking good. And this is our second time getting it. So this one is a little bit more expensive than the other one, the Chateau Cotet, this one. If you guys see this in Total Wine and you like dessert wines, you have to pick it up. It's like a honey infused apricot deliciousness. It's amazing. So good. But I'm, again, I'm warning y'all, it's not cheap. It's kind of expensive, but honestly, it's worth it. Especially if you're like, like hosting a party or something and you know people would like dessert wine. Now keep in mind, dessert wine is literally, it's dessert. Like you don't need to drink it with like a piece of cake or like pie or something. Like this is literally dessert. That's how sweet it is. Um, and this is from the brand Chateau Moselle. This one is pretty bomb too. This also has notes of, this one has peach and honey in it. And then this one is the apricot and honey. So either way, they're both delicious. If you're looking for like a new bougie dessert wine, they're so good. Very sweet though, very sweet. I had to get used to the taste when I first uh drink it because i don't really drink sweet wines like that i like um more of a full body cab with like notes of like blackberry and just you know a little smokiness in my wines like but this is nice if you want to change the vibe up a little bit and you want something sweeter this one is actually a gift for my cousin because she loves sweet wine so i'm just going to give that to her and then we're probably just going to take this one home for christmas and share with some of our family members. And then all the cabs are staying here because Cabernet is my home wine. Yeah, I'm gonna put these away and I'm about to get ready to wrap some Christmas gifts. So yeah, I'm about to go do that right now. So yeah, and then I have to do my nails because they look atrocious. Send help. 